Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at how we name our vehicles correctly. We'll show you how to change the name of the vehicle and the positive impact it has on exporting the management tree there to the monitor and the positive impact it has on looking at reports of your vehicles. When a machine is first connected by the dealer to your account, um, it can be registered under the serial number, it can be registered under a model number, it can be registered in many different ways. A serial number, however, is not particularly easy to, uh, to understand. Or if it was put in as a New Holland CR9.90, that's okay for the first one, but if you've got uh, two or three or four machines working on the farm, then it's a little bit difficult to distinguish between the two of them. And the, the, the main reason uh, for, for this is when I go to the My Farm um, uh, app and I look under the, uh, the setup and I go to uh, resources equipment, this is the name of my machine. Now if you had two or three of them, and they can all be uh, CR9.90s, you wouldn't actually know which is which. And so it would be a, it's a very, very um, good idea um, when you're in the My New Holland app and this is the My Equipment, um, what, uh, what you should do is edit the name of the machine. So where it's got the pencil here, click the edit and then create a, a more user-friendly name. And it can be entirely up to your choice as to what it's, uh, what it's going to be. If you have um, a number of combines, um, number of headers, then you can name them number one, number two, number three, number four, etc. Um, a number of other um, customers have put in registration numbers because that does make them totally unique over a longer period of time. Whatever you choose, um, make sure they're unique and that they are easily distinguishable to you. And so when, um, you, when we go back into the, uh, the My Farm app, it becomes much easier to understand. Another reason while we're here is when I want to export our, um, our management tree to our equipment, and I click Send Equipment, and I look down the list, I will have a list of serial numbers. This is wonderfully confusing. So this is uh, one of the main reasons why we want to uh, we want to change it. I'll come back out of that. Um, I'll, I will change the name of my machine. I will save it. it takes a couple of seconds to uh, to do. That is done. Now, if I go back into my farm and go into setup. I see that um, I'll come out of that and go back into it a, uh, again, that nothing has changed. So how do we bring in that new name? Well, we do that by going to the import button at the bottom, select our, our organization, and then click import. Import is complete, and we see now that we've got the friendly name there. And the serial number and the VIN number is exactly the same, but we've got a friendly name. So when we go back to our um, um, uh, My Farm app and we want to export it out, send it to the equipment and then go next. I've got my equipment and now I've got the friendly name of my machine. And it can be a combine, it can be a tractor, it can be a sprayer, it can be whatever machine um, you, you have on the system. But now these are clearly identifiable and so it is much easier to send the uh, the management tree out to all of your machines or just the ones that uh, that need it and so making sure that you have a friendly name for your machines will save you a lot of um, time and uh, potentially you won't be getting well you won't be getting the uh, the management tree um, sent to the the wrong machine at all and if i look in fleet I will refresh that. It's uh, so we've got our CR90, um, we're 9.90 number one there. These are the statistics that are related to that machine. So again, you've got the serial number, but if you didn't have a friendly name, it would be much, much harder to understand what machine, what the performance of the machine is. So a number of um, reasons why you want to change the um, the name of the the machine in the settings uh, my equipment settings area to a friendly name and then import it in